Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the fabulous Cadence Mirror Spray. Now this particular can that I've got here, you can see it comes in 150 mil size, so it's a really big size to work with. This particular can itself is compressed down into an aerosol form. So when using this, you want to give it a light shake and it is ready to go. Now in today's video, I'm gonna actually use a piece of detail glassware. So a piece of cut glass, a small dish, you could be using anything from a serving bowl, you could use a vase, you could use a piece of glass from a photo frame. I'm gonna show you a little bit of that as well later on. But anything fully translucent that is glassware is what this spray is intended to use on. Now it will work on some acetates as well as some perspex. So it may always be worth trying a corner of those if you want to give it a go on a project because it can create the most beautiful, beautiful effects. And there's loads of distressing that you can create to create those really age vintage mirrors, which going down the line we'll cover as well. But this is all about your application, your housekeeping and how to use a product. So what I'm gonna do is give it that light shake. I've actually lined my craft mat here just with some paper towel, something that I do all the time when using sprays. It just means, of course, it's gonna keep things easier and cleaner, sustainable way of doing it. Um, take the lid off and just before you spray, always look around and double check, are you in a well ventilated area? We've got the window open in the studio today. If you were doing this outside, that's perfect conditions. Of course, best if it's not windy, you don't want it going everywhere. But if you're gonna do it in your craft room, make sure the windows are wide open, but we would always recommend doing it out in the garden if you can do it. It's the best way to do it. It's just easier. Um, so what we're gonna do is gonna go onto the inside of this dish. Now I'm not intended to using this for food use. Of course, this is a solvent-based product. This is maybe to display some chocolates in there that are in wrappers, or maybe some Christmas ornaments, or maybe you're gonna have your keys in here as you come into your home. It's gonna create a beautiful effect, but a decorative piece, or maybe you're gonna put a candle in it. So we want to spray on the inside of the glassware. We've got all of this detail on the outside, which means spraying on here is gonna give us a beautiful effect on the outside to so get to those charity shops and see what you can find. So a bit of a spritz with our mirror spray. We're gonna do it in coats. So I'm gonna go on the inside, all the way around to line inside of this. Now it takes a minute to dry, and you can start to see here already this pooling area is getting bigger. That's the actual solvent evaporating. Now what you can do with this is of course, this will take up to a minute to dry, but if you were just to add a heat gun in, it'll make it about five to 10 seconds. So I'm just gonna switch this on. And instantly, all of the solvent has just evaporated from that meaning we now have a beautiful glass reflective surface. So as I turn this round towards you, you can see the inside of it here is that chrome, almost polished finish. But on the exterior is that beautiful crystal glass that's now all mirrored. Now what I'm gonna do is give this a second coat on the inside. You can build up as many as you want to, two is adequate. Um, that just means that if you're doing it in thin layers, you're not gonna get any drip marks because of course, the more you spray, the more product comes out. This way it saves your product and gives you a better result. So we're gonna go back into the dish here, a little spray again. Every time you sit it down on your desk, just give it a little shake up. The ball bearing will activate all of that medium. So I'm gonna go back inside the dish and just give it a slight mist. So I'm moving the spray around, so I'm not getting my hand covered as I'm moving the dish. So again, going around all of those edges, taking my heat gun again, and that there will just dry that off nicely for us. It's almost like turning your demister on in your car. There we go. So all of that is up now nice and dry, which means the exterior of this is just glorious. Just look at that, it's like Cinderella glass. It is just incredible. I mean, look how reflective this is on the side. Now, because this is beveled, it's cut into and shaped. We've got that beautiful refraction, which is gonna cast the light everywhere. So if this was sat on the side, you could have a candle in here. You could have decorations or ornaments in this. Of course, if this was a tall vase, you could have done the inside of it and carry that design all the way up. But of course you may not have got a vase or you may have not got something like this, but you may have a pane of glass. Now I actually fetched this out from the inside of a photo frame um, so it can go back in there. But this here is a, a panel of photo frame glass. I've just popped my dust around the edge because sometimes the edges can be a little bit sharp. So always just be cautious of that. But as well, I don't want to get any fingerprints onto the glass. So what I'm gonna do before I spray it is I'm moving the duster around the edges and I'm making sure just to almost dust any fingerprints off that I've just created. I have washed this with warm soapy water as well, but the glass itself is probably quite old. So I'm gonna pop this down. Now you could do this through a stencil, which would give you a mirrored stencil effect. So anything you've got within your craft room, think about using mirror spray with it. It'll look fabulous. 
What I'm going to do on a larger surface is we're going to do a sweeping motion. So we're going to start and work left to right or right to left, whichever way you prefer. Little shake. We're going to go from right to left. I'm left-handed, but always tend to start from the right. Here we go. Bringing that down, you can see it drying in stages. So then what I'm going to do with that heat gun is encourage it to dry super quick. So all of that disappears. And then we're going to go back over and do our second coat. There we go. And I'm doing it in stages of small mists because it's easier than doing one big whole spray. You feel like you're having to quickly really rush with it. So small little sprays like this always seems to work much better. So at the moment I've sprayed all of this. It's creating that really nice, beautiful chrome effect on this side. Then as we turn our mirror around, just going to make sure that's nice and dry for us. As we turn this around, it should be completely reflective. So if you, when you're watching this video, you're now going to see the ceiling. <laughs> so we've created a complete mirror out of a pane of glass. So there with the camera. Um, and you can also see um, there's me as well. So literally all of this you can see now is a fully reflective mirror. It is crazy. It is it reflecting the light all around the room, but that there could be something that you're creating on the wall um, as a piece of art. You could do this into glassware. I can actually feel the light coming up towards me as it's reflecting all of the light of this. So I'm just going to turn this back around, but you can see there again a full mirror on my craft desk there. Putting my hand in the front of this, I could put this here and this piece of actual glass is turned into a mirror. It blows my mind every time I use it. I still can't believe the way that it works and the way that it does. But a bit of housekeeping with this product. When you've worked with this, it will actually be water repellent. So if you're going to have um, this outside in the garden, it will be fine. If you wanted to do this on the inside of a vase and you're actually going to put flowers in it, you want to use a water-based varnish on the inside to actually cure the sides of this because permanent soaking of this, it will take it away. Also a really cool tip. If you've done it on the inside of things like dishes and vases and you do want to remove it because it is solvent based you could use rubbing alcohol or you could use a dishwasher tablet a biodegradable one soak it in boiling water to remove it so there is ways around taking it off if you've maybe done your, your favorite whiskey decanter and thinking well actually i want to take it off there is ways you can do it it's permanent but of course there's always a way around it so that there's just a little tip of how you can take it off if you want to but think of all the jewellery, think of all of the different embellishments you've got that you can now make into your very own crystal. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notification of all our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.